Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. Today we are going to discuss a new blog post. The feelings that poured into me after I did the video of talking about how this person called me a demon because I was not living to his standards. I was living for mine. Do not prove yourself to anyone but yourself. Your power matters to only yourself. If you let someone else have it, you lose everything. Never give that power to another person. Never prove yourself to other people. You do not need to prove yourself to your husband or wife. Anyone, for that matter. The person that matters the most should be you, and only you, the most. Put yourself first. Many people do not. This is the lesson I learned from that guy who tried to tell me I was a demon after Shagan, he saw me as an angel. I could not believe my ears when he told me that I was a demon. And deep down, that is what happened subconsciously. I forced myself to believe what he told me instead what I found was not a demon, but a real angel of the light, not a con artist who tricks people away from their power, but a person who tells you to find your soul, to trust in yourself, to remind you never trust the demons and to help them never love the demons, vanquish the toxic people from your life. Many people get that wrong. You are told to love everyone. You are told to help everyone, including the, the evil people. To have compassion for evil. What if the person murdered someone? Could you still have compassion for that sick psycho? My answer? You cannot. You cannot have compassion for the crime, for any crime. You cannot have compassion for these these wars on our planet. It is not the best thing. It is the worst. Whoever says war brings out the good in people, you are sadly mistaken. To bring out the good in others, you have to know the light without that war. You can help someone without being in war. Think of a natural disaster. Your hometown gets wiped out. You have to rebuild. That is what should matter. Not because of war, but because of a natural disaster. People banding together, fixing 
etc., not because of war. In the end, this guy who called me a demon, what he told me, he knew what to say to crush me, to try and stop me from my great work, from my light worker. My light worker energy, the topics I sell, be it on the gods are real. Know how to heal yourself. Know how to get rid of the toxic people. Have no compassion for evil. I remind you of that. What it, what you do with that knowledge, is. Up to you. Never feed into evil people. You cannot help the demons. Once a demon, always a demon. Once evil, always evil. Whoever succumbs to the evil was their choice. Once a sheep, it is if it is up to that person. To wake up, or continue to be asleep, lost and confused, in the matrix, because they have compassion for the crime and for the greed. I say that because many people are like that. For them, it is only drama, 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 who killed. Who who raped who, who had sex with who, who's your baby mama, etc. That's all they care about. They do not care about waking up. They do not care about the deep spiritual knowledge that is hidden deep within them. They could care far far less. They have compassion for evil. That is why. That is their choice. Their soul was a demon. Maybe the body you used to know. Maybe their soul left their body, and a demon entered. Or maybe the soul was possessed by a demon, and now that person is locked away. Trapped within their own mind, screaming, "Help me!" But no one hears them. All they can do is watch in horror that this de- what this demon is doing to their body, doing to their mind. All they care about gossip, gossip, gossip. Instead of. I need to get away from this toxic environment. This toxic environment is holding me back, is keeping me in 3D. When I need to be on 5D, 9D, whatever. Somehow, the soul knows that they are trapped because a. Demon is possessing them to be trapped. They allow it, or maybe they are screaming in their mind, saying "Help me!" But their consciousness does not heal them. Screaming, "Help me! Wake me up! This is not who I am. This is not what I am. This is not what I stand for." I do not like evil. I hate evil. Why are you telling me to love evil when I hate it? When I cannot forgive evil. It makes you question everything. Many people are still trapped between the matrix and the demons, being trapped between a light being. And demon. 
There are three types of people on this planet: demons, human, and light being. Three: demon, human, and light being. Human is between light being and demon. Chances are, they are on the lower end of spiritual awakening because they are unwell of many things. They are sleeping. They cannot heal their higher self. They cannot heal their spirit's guardians. Their familiars, their whoever, whoever is talking to them, trying to point them into the right path, the into the light. They go the opposite direction. They stay with the demons. Some people fight the demons, but they are still lost. That is why light workers are here guiding mankind. However, there are going to be demons masked as angels, hiding as angels, who are conning the humans into, not into the light, away from the power. All they care about is greed, greed, sex, greed, and more sex. That's it. You don't need that to survive on 9D. You don't need it. All you need is to love yourself. That is the first step. Love thyself. Be thyself. However, you must never harm the innocent. Harming the innocent means you are a demon. There is no excuse for that crime, and whoever has compassion for that is evil. I proved to myself that I am no demon. Instead, I found my power again, and my dragon magic flowing. Through me, my magic courses through me ten times hotter now. I know I am no demon. I never was, because I can see through the demons now. This person had it wrong. I found the strength to go on. I am much stronger now, and pushing my mission forward much harder now. If anything, this should show you I am no demon. I am a real angel of light. Remember to fight for yourself and for ne- for no one else but you. Let your senses tell you who to trust, who to care for. But remember, do not let anyone take your power from you. Think for yourself. Follow you and not the crowd. Follow your own soul. Reach five D and beyond. Trust your instincts. Trust in yourself. Think freely. Open your eyes. Listen. Find yourself and be free. Never do this for another person. Do this for you and only you. Many people get this wrong. They think you are supposed to do everything for who you love to change for them. No, 
That is incorrect. You are here to extend, to wake up. You are here to fight the demons. Do not become one of them. Chances are you, well, once a demon, always a demon. There are two types of light beings. Middle dimension and upper dimension. If you are unmoved by this earth, whatever happens here, by the media, by the crime, if you are unaffected, senses are you came from the upper dimensions. Even metal could maybe. If, okay. Lower dimension is th this is lower the lowest point on the dimension list. Three D, all the way up to nine D. Three D is the chaos, is evil, is nothing but crime, nothing but murder, nothing but rape. The list goes on. Forty, you're starting to wake up. You're starting to extend out of. That vortex, out of the vortex and back up, to know when that the crime is unacceptable. Your goal is to reach nine D. Your goal is to reach godhood. Not demons. Not greed. Not lust. Love thyself. Be thyself. Be pure. Do not harm the innocent. If you do, you are a demon. You always were a demon. Humans are susceptible to that. If you are a human who knows that this is wrong, senses are. You are a light being. The code is inside your DNA. The junk DNA is not junk. It is the light code within you. Light code. Psychics have it, but they are mostly cons, because they all they want is greed and fame. The real. Psychics would help. The real ones do help. However, everything is too convoluted with what starseed origins. That is role play that was made up by Earth. They don't exist. What actually exists. Is what light beings. What if you're actually talking? What if you are referring to light beings when you refer to the star seed? Ex excluding Pleiadian. Pleiadians are demonic. They are evil. They are demons. Anyone who t says they come for the pla from Pleiades, they are evil. I encountered a Pleiadian demon once. What I felt, he lied to me. Said, "Do not go into love. Do not go into the light. He is evil." He was talking about what I believe in. He was talking about light beings and other powerful knowledge. And what did this demon say? Do not trust him. I got a bad, sick feeling. I wonder why. Demons feel the light. Demons would do anything to get away from that light to nullify. That light. 
This demon tried to get me away from this angel. Because that is what demons do. They are the devils. The devil tricks people away from real knowledge, from the real truth and light. And you may be wondering, okay, then what is Lucifer? Lucifer is the one who is like, come to my light. This is the real knowledge. Here, have this. Use it wisely. Do not harm the innocent. The devil tricked you away from that. Lucifer is guiding light, the morning star. Those three types of Lucifer. We are talking about the actual archangel Lucifer plus the morning star, guiding light. Go into the light, not away from the light, because if you, if you do go away from the light, you are continuing this vicious cycle of being stuck in 3D. You cannot get to the next level, 4D, 5D, 6D, etc. Go away from the light, you are dooming yourself to repeat the same mistakes over and over and over again. Reincarnation is what? Learn your lessons. Wake up. Reach the next level. 4D, 5D, and beyond. All the way up to 9D. Anyone who tells you do not go into the light is demon. Why do we have so many religions talk about entering the light? Upgrade. That is the word that comes to mind. It is upgrading you. The darkness away from the light is downgrading you. It is keeping you locked in 3D. You either wake up, continuing your climb, or you never do. You are going to fight against what is real, what is real knowledge, real power. Because the demons told you, do not trust in your power, do not go into the light. This is false, this is evil. Demons tell us the angels are wrong, the angels are evil. Because the demons fail us for our true knowledge, for our true power, for our light, what we are. Whoever bullies you knows somehow they are going to stop you from waking up. They are going to prevent you from being a light worker, whatever your mission is to do on earth. For me, it is this, being a light worker, telling you all these facts, reminding you. The devil is tricking you. Lucifer did not trick you. For me, when I hear the fall of the angels, I'm questioning, okay, what comes to mind when you hear the, the words fallen angel? I think of, well, demons who masked themselves as angels. That is what I think of. What if 
that Okay, we have demons and we have angels. What if that the angels were monitoring something? Things got out of hand, chaos erupted, and the devil saw that he could get his people into heaven to cause more pandemonium more chaos in heaven. He took that opportunity to try, but he failed. He fell. And his angels followed him. Because they were not angels, they were demons the whole time. And he was locked away in hell. So he could not get out. His angels could not get out. The devil has no angels. The devil only has demons. There are many cultures that do talk about gods, but, and they also talk about hell. All the bad people stay in hell. All the evil people, anyone who supports them, anyone who has compassion for evil, for the demons, are going to stay in hell. They are not going to be allowed in heaven. The gods are going to judge you based on your actions, and they are the executioners. Judge and jury. jury. Mm. It is only fitting that the gods do that. Judge and Executioner. Based upon your actions, do evil, you are evil. Support evil, you are evil. Greed, gossip, drama, lust. All these are bad. All of these are evil. Many people get this wrong. Many people tell you that to help others, everyone, to help everyone, to love everyone. There are many different topics a light worker can give. Extension uplifting meditations, grounding, um, starseed orisons, markings. They tell you that this planet is extending. Incorrect. How can a planet full of war and crime be extending? You can't. This planet is doomed to stay in 3D forever. Because that is what the planet is emitting. 3D only. You cannot change that. You, you can't. And everyone who's, who says that you are extending, you're not. This planet isn't. The only way to extend is get rid of all the humanity within you. Throw it out the window. Delete your humanity. That sounds monstrous, doesn't it? No.
It's quite the opposite. It is liberating. Remove your humanity and become free. And you're questioning, what does that even mean? Remove the gossip, the greed, and the lust. Lust after one person, which should be actually love. Love your husband. Love your wife only. Do not meet with multiple people. That is a demonic act in itself. Keep your lust under control. But if you can't, well, then chances are you're not a light being. Because it is all about self-control. Master that, or you never had it in you in the first place. Master patience. Throw out greed. Throw out gossip. Throw out the crime. Remove your humanity from you, and you will be free. That is what it means to extend. People tell you that your world is crashing down. Your world is turned inside out, upside down. You don't know who you are anymore. That is common. That is because old habits are breaking away. As you extend up the ladder, you are evolving. But you have to remember: remove all toxic people, remove all toxic environments from you. Do not live in that toxic environment. But if you have no choice but to stay, well, it is full of evil. Remember to clean your aura. Push out all evil thoughts. Ignore what these seeds are telling you. If it is low vibration, you will know by how you feel. Become. Aware of every little detail, and I mean that literally. Chances are, you might not. You might be missing something. Pay closer attention. I thank you. For your time, and until we meet again.